to see how this is going to work. Usually they'll just pay a fiver just to see what happens. A proposition bet is a great way to hustle a few free drinks and a meal. Paul, Jess and Alex have come to their local Greasy Spoon. Jess is going to try and get a free coffee with a classic proposition bet, the three cup scam. While Paul and Alex look on, Jess begins her scam. Right. I'm a friend of um, Claudette's, um, she's a manager here, and um, I've been showing her a few tricks this morning, and she just asked me to come over and show you. I've got these three cups here, um, all I want you to, I'm going to do is something, I just want you to copy me. Right, I'm just going to go, one, two, and three. So I've finished with all three cups facing mouth upwards. Yep. Yeah, think it looks quite easy? Shall I show you again, just in case? Well, okay. <laughs> And it'll be welcome crumble. <laughs> That's one, two, milk and two sugars. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, you see, it's a bit difficult. You want another go? Yeah, okay. You know how it works, so two cups at a time, yeah? No, you do it. One, two, two. <laughs> you can't do it. You're such a little <laughs> cheat, you are. You should buy me a coffee just for the cheek of it. <laughs> Anyway. I'll buy her breakfast, I'll buy her lunch as well if she wants. So what's the secret of the three cup scam? Like all proposition bets, it's impossible for the mark to solve. It's all in the way Jess sets out the three cups. You'll remember that the cups alternate mouth up and mouth down. When she lays them out for herself to turn them over, the outer cups are mouth down. But when she lays them out for the mark, she lays them out the opposite way up with the outer cups mouth up. So, it's impossible for the mark to copy what she did and get all the cups mouth up in three moves. Very sneaky. The mark never had a chance.